Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. We're back in my Laguna Beach art studio for the story behind the photograph. And on this episode, I'm doing one of my favorite shots I've ever captured. Mystical Valley from Yosemite National Park. Now with this art piece, it wasn't so much technical photography I had to deal with to make this piece what I think is amazing. It was more just endurance and really just patience for this photograph to come together. And what I mean, let's, well, let's cover technical first. Technically, this is always shot on medium format, my Alpha 12TC camera. And this is four shots stitched together. One, two, three, Four. And that's really technically all that I did with this shot. Again, it was on my um, nodal ninja, so everything lined up perfectly, even though it didn't matter too much because there was so much fog and rain. The real, real tough part about capturing this photograph and capturing it clean and well was this whole time. I was here for about six, seven hours in the pouring rain, and it was just really about capturing that moment and just Yosemite is so over photographed. I mean, it deserves it. It's one of those beautiful places in the world, but to capture something unique, that's what makes this image and the story behind it so special for me. So I came here and it was one of those beautiful, beautiful times where these storms were coming in and everybody was leaving Yosemite, everybody. And the storms, there was to be a little bit of flooding, but it wasn't catastrophic or world ending kind of storm, just one, they're bigger. This was kind of a fall storm, if I remember correctly. So everyone was leaving, so I had the park to myself. And as you can see here, I had a little bit of fun enjoying Yosemite to myself. But I got up for sunrise, and this is just next to Tunnel View. Kind of, it's been, like everything in Yosemite again, it's been shot millions of times, but to get it unique, so I showed up at sunrise, and again, pouring rain, couldn't even see El Capitan. But it was just about sitting there. There's a, this great saying, and I'm not 100% sure who said it. I think it was Bob Marley. Some people feel the rain, others just get wet. And during the eight, nine hours that I was here, I would like to say I was cold, but I was feeling the rain. It was absolutely beautiful. I didn't see one other person at Tunnel View, which that's saying something but just enjoying it, just watching the clouds move in and out, the fog move in and out, El Capitan coming into view, then going away. It was just a, such a beautiful, beautiful setting. And the main challenge with this was just keeping my camera dry, as you can see from this picture here, and the wind to keep it. So when I did stitch them together, the fog really did help to lay over. And I, there's a few times where it moved a little bit because of the wind, but it didn't matter too much because the fog when I stitched them together and blended them, that covered that up. But that was the real struggle with this. I shouldn't say struggle. That was part of the enjoyment of this photograph. Just keeping my camera dry, keeping everything somewhat lined up. But then just sitting there watching this, I was soaking wet. Luckily, I was close enough to my car um, walk back to the car. So I can keep changing jackets. I went through about six jackets. <laughs> when some dry in the car, um, rotating them in and out because it was just absolutely gorgeous. Sitting here watching, this was a little bit dangerous because I was on a cliff, so I'd be very careful not to slip off. But other than that, just sitting there watching the fog just go through the clouds. A few pictures in here, just separate there. Just absolutely beautiful. Coming through here above the Merced River, and that's where everything started coming together for me. Sitting there for, felt like forever. Enjoyable forever. Sitting there watching the fog just starting to form because before it was just pouring rain, wasn't too much fog. But then these lines, as you can see in this photograph here, the lines just started capturing me. It just, you can see the Merced River, the fog on top of it just leads your eye right to the base El Capitan. Just starting to peek out a little bit of sun here. You can see here in the shadows, uh, the sun causing the shadows, excuse me. Right in here, there's a little bit of sun just through here, you just start seeing the valley, the lines that are created with this shot. 
the canyon wall going down to the Merced River, the Merced River with the fog on top, just leading you right up to the base El Capitan, bringing you into this. And I was fortunate, but I kind of had the idea when I shot it, how I wanted it to look. And that was, <laughs> this was the ideal of what I looked for and what I was hoping for, and it did come true. Thank goodness. But just sitting there in a second, with just fog coming in and out. There were some times it got so foggy, I couldn't even see this rim here. It was just completely white out. And so this, so most of the shoot, I was so close to leaving about five or six times. Given it was beautiful, it was enjoyable, but it was about 40 degrees, so it was cold. I was soaked to my bone. I was enjoying it because it was just the most spectacular thing I've really witnessed in a long time. Watching the clouds and the fog go through, spectacular. But just sitting there, concentrating on keeping my camera dry, just waiting for that moment. And you always, it's just one of those things, you get those amazing photographs maybe one out of 10 times, but you gotta go at those just extreme crazy conditions because that gives you that one in 10 chance, that gives you that opportunity to capture something like this. And just how it cleared up El Capitan, the sun comes through, just kisses El Capitan, just for a moment. I had this whole thing, I shot this luckily enough down here about two minutes before this completely cleared. And I had the camera ready because it was kind of going in and out of fog. Captured this, two minutes later, completely gone. Hung out for another hour just to see what else I could get, but it just turned into a fog bank and it was just a wall of white for the rest of the time. And by then, because I showed up for sunrise to see what the sunrise would do. So, I mean, it was getting closer, eight hours. It was getting, you know, three, four hours, three, four o'clock. So it was gonna start getting dark soon and it was cold. So it was just a beautiful, again, as you can see here, I speak so passionate about this photograph because technically it might not be the greatest. I mean, I captured it good, the white point was good, the exposure was perfect, but just being there in that story of sitting there for hours that very, very, very other few people would do, but to witness, to see what I got to see in this and just enjoy every bit of Yosemite in this crazy weather, which a lot of people don't want to do. They don't take the time to enjoy this feeling the rain, like I said, of this beautiful scenery just going through here. I mean, the wildlife, the birds were out, the squirrels were out. Everything, even saw a deer closer back when I was walking one time to get my, um, to replace my jacket with a dry one. Absolutely incredible. So that's kind of the story behind this piece, Mystical Valley. Adding more to kind of the backstory of this photograph, making it even more special to me. When I was done with this photograph, heading back into the valley to camp for the night, it actually started to snow. It got that cold. And there was a little bit, um, a tree fell into the road. And as I stopped to push it out, I kept saying, go back to my car. I was like, I was in my Tacoma truck, so I was able to push the tree out. But one of those scenes too, to the story, pushing that tree kind of out of the way to go around, I saw a bear with some older cubs, but still. And keep adding this, again, that's why it's my one of my favorite photographs. All the stuff that I got to witness while capturing this one image is just incredible to me. And it's why it holds a special place in my heart. Seeing the bear, seeing the deer, seeing the beauty of Yosemite, all within, you know, 10 hours of each other, pouring rain, seeing the snow, enjoying a pizza and a beer in Yosemite Valley next to the fire, I mean, it makes me happy and I get really excited about stuff like that. And I hope I yeah, can pass it on to you if you had similar experiences in Yosemite. I mean, that's what artwork's about. That's what photography's about, to just bring in those inner emotions, those memories of these just beautiful places on this planet and just being able to be part of them, witness them, experience them. That's what really photography's about. And this, in my mind, is one of the photographs that does it the most for me. Personally, just again, the story behind it, incredible, incredible. I think I was only there for about 40 hours, but incredible 48 hours of my life. And each time I see this photograph, it just takes me right there, right to Yosemite Valley. As it is here, this is on our UV filtering acrylic, Optimal Museum acrylic. And it gives it the black and white tones on this with this fine art metallic paper really makes it shine. I like that about this piece in the acrylic because you still can get the dark blacks, still get the whites, but there's almost kind of, haze is the wrong word. It's It keeps the contrast under control. I didn't want this to be a crazy contrasty 
print because it's not. It was hazy. I mean, you can come down in here, might have a little bit of reflection since we're on the acrylic here. But you can come in here, there's a little bit of a haze because the fog coming. I mean, just the whole time I was there, it was coming up, down, up, down. And there's a little pieces of there, but you can go in and see from the phase one, how tack sharp everything is here. These trees, I mean, you can see these little branches going in in post. You can, you can actually see the separate pine needles. That's how crazy and good the phase one and the Alpa lenses are. You can go in and just see so much in the fog, just dances through here, which I just absolutely love. Going through it again, just your eye just goes right to El Capitan. Everything, you have the V, your eye just brings, it just, it, it filters your eye complete through the whole photograph. And uh, just, it, I, sorry, I just love going over this image because it's so special to me. Again, this is probably one of my top five, if not my favorite image I've ever captured just because of that story and being there and to be able to take everything in to enjoy one of the most beautiful places in the world. If you want more information about this piece, visit our website, the link down below. Also too, this is one of our fine art pieces. It's limited to 18 prints. If you do want to see sizing and pricing options, feel free again, visit our website, click on our online store to see options available for purchase. Thanks again. Cheers.